Good evening. I thought I'd drop, jump on tonight. Um, there are a couple readers on uh, who I normally would watch for meditation purposes. However, um, I don't have to work tomorrow, so I'm probably going to save them both for tomorrow and delight or revel in, in both of them then uh, because of Juneteenth, since I have it off. Um, I thought I'd hop on because I felt some really weird energy today, um, and it was in my lower ab abdomen, um, my right side. I haven't felt it in a long time, and I, not to be too graphic or anything, but I didn't have any trouble going to the bathroom or anything <laughs> like that. Normally, the type of feeling to which I'm referring would be in the center of the gut, um, around the, um, for entertainment purposes only, the solar plexus or, or uh, yeah, the solar plexus. So what I thought I would do is, um, there's a theory that every part of the body connects to some sort of, um, locale um, of another part of the body, which in terms of anatomy can often reflect a, an illness or something happening or a, a, a psychological, and I don't want to use the term psychosomatization because in a lot of cases, uh, those actually end up being real things for people who are psychic, who feel a certain pain or a pang or you know, like the day after Donald Trump was elected um, or the night of, you might have had your stomach drop. That's what exactly happened to me. Um, and I really didn't, I knew Trump was corrupt, but it was the people in New York who were always, you know, when I was fundraising, pointing it out to me in, in immeasurable ways, but they, I don't even think they foresaw how bad it was going to be. I remember speaking to one of them on the phone. They're like, I knew. Um, and that was actually what sparked my interest in, in getting involved in cards because all these readers, um, whether it was Truth Warrior, uh, whom I believe was the first one, and then Lilac Lantern, and then Scott, and then a, whole, a bevy of other ones, um, were always reading politically. And I thought it was really cool because I had a knowledge of things I had to in that capacity in which I was working. So what I wanted to do tonight, getting back to my original thing, um, is can we, can we define energies that are in our bodies as correlating to something going on externally, meaning our empaths? I mean, do we misread the signs at all ever or are we spot on when we have these some people you know get overheated or some people get um and is that an acuity that can be an, as strange as it might sound um built up over time or is it something innately in intuitives that you know you either have it or you don't I just want people to chime in in the comments about that. Um, as far as what I want to do tonight, I just thought I'd hop on. Um, this isn't going to be live because I don't have the camera issue resolved yet. One way or another, I'm going to have one within the next few days. Um, but I kind of wanted to read on. Kind of wanted to read on Putin. Um, and I, you know, I know people are sick of it because in a lot of ways they can't get energy on him. He might have a double, um, that type of thing. Um, I don't know. Um, I think that's kind of a ludicrous assumption on the face of it. But then again, Kim Jong-un might have one. Um, there was something that has made some news this weekend, although... It's been buried. Um, I was watching the news this morning. It was buried about how Putin will move the nukes into Belarus, or he has them positioned in Belarus in case, um, you know, NATO forces um, advance, which would be disastrous, as he said, for NATO or something to that effect. Um, 
and it might mean the, the dissolution of NATO because you're going to have people really in the centrality of that area who might, um, you know, you're going to have Russia and then you're going to have fin Finland and all these other places and then you're going to have NATO here and then you're going to have Ukraine below it. So if Ukraine does not win and Trump, it, they're somehow successful in maneuvering these nukes to do what they want to do. And again, that's assuming they use them, which I have issue with. I'm not even going to read on it because I don't um, think in the end it's the most relevant question. But getting back to this... Um, and, you know, the idea that you have Zelensky saying, you know, this would mean the beginning of World War III because it would suggest the forced dissolution or um, within the European Union uh, of NATO because, you know, we we would Russia would be everywhere and it you know, it just wouldn't be pretty. So, what I wanted to read on specifically is. The energy of Vladimir Putin right now, um, but um, I'm kind of wondering if it's a proxy Putin, meaning he's either dead, he's alive. These were taped before. He, there is a double, or um, the policies that were put in place are the ones that they want the state or the media wants people to believe are the ones that they're going to adhere to. Even if somehow NATO intercedes on behalf of Ukraine, um, we're able to take Putin out um, or, um, you know, um, something else dramatic happens where a new leader is installed in his place it's an interim leader, which a lot of people have seen. What I want to know right now is um, basically would the proxy Putin or Putin regime and, you know, um, Dmitry Med Medved and Med 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 Medved, I don't I forget how it's said, for entertainment purposes only, um, would they, in fact, go so far as to use nukes out of Belarus? Would they go so far? I do want to read on it. Would they go so far as to go and use nukes out of Belarus? God of my angels and on my dead in heaven on Father's Day. I hope you see me and are proud. <laughs> um, I wrote a few things lately. My literary canon's growing, if only, you know, as is the case with the whole entertainment industry, the TV industry, the, you know, which uh, is why there's no clear consensus about news anymore. All these things are fragmented. Music charts really have no relevance in terms of genre anymore because radio became fragmented years ago. I'm going down a rabbit hole, people, but my point is getting back to my literary canon. The only way to discover anything anymore and not have it shoved down your throat, so to speak, on a mass level as if you were at a fast food restaurant is to discover it for yourself. And, you know, no better place for that than YouTube. So I'm very grateful to you. Please hit like and subscribe. Um, and of course, my book speaks for itself and uh, some good writ. Um, <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, cancer, sex, I don't remember <laughs> the order of the, of the, of the, um, itemized, you know what I mean, are all the time. Christmas, cancer, sex, Jeff, Christmas, cancer, sex, Jeff, Christmas, cancer, dad, I think, Christmas, cancer, dad. Sex, Wine, and Jeff. <laughs> it's a really good book, though. Get it. Okay, uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Bottom of Angels. Would 
Putin launch nukes from Belarus, and I am using the uh, <laughs> the uh, garbage pail kid deck to which I've referred uh, on multiple occasions. I just again don't have the um, oh I do have it, but I'm not gonna go through my gabapentin, my ibuprofen, and all that just to pull it down and then have to pull it back up again and then put those on and risk dropping the camera. So let's see. Uh, when we do this, the current energy, the forces in motion, the greatest challenge, the forces, the influence of the past, the crossing energy, meaning like what's happening now. And let's do kind of doing the, I don't know if it's called the Celtic, but, but I don't know what this is. It's inspired by spiritual growth tarot. Hi, Denise. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll take this one. Take the one on top again for consistency. What is the energy presently of or the of the possible what is the possibility at this point of the use of nuclear weapons in Belarus? Okay, current energy is King of Wands um, upside down. Um, it's too bad these don't like the regular uh, season. Well, I started with season three, but then everyone wanted one and two. I've already been through this, but they don't have the names, which I kind of wish they had given the cards names and whatnot. Um, but then it would be more confusing for me. But anyway, King of Wands reversed. Um, an inspired idea gone wrong. Um, if it were upright, it would still be um, someone who could maneuver. Um, and again, maybe with Nuke, we're talking the energy of Wands. Um, I see someone breathing fire here, but doing nothing more than that. Um, I see people dancing in, in sort of a, a unison manner, I, I, which makes me believe that as much as the Russian propaganda might feed this, they don't have enough to make good on the threat, meaning they don't have enough in terms of resources. They don't have, you know, with its being reversed, they don't have the things that they would need long term to sustain an attack like that, much less um, even threaten it. King of Swords, upright. Again, um, the idea in principle um, with ideas and, you know, a loyal. Um, or what, what he believes is loyal, but if we're reading it as a challenge, it should be like this. There's too much dissension in the ranks. Um, and you see this, if you look carefully at the card, let's see, he's sticking one side of his face with one of the swords. It's almost like he's um, cutting his nose to spite his face, almost, because you don't see his nose. That's the energy of that. Um, so, so far I'm getting a no. Crossing energy of what's going on right now, Six of Wands, meaning um, it's movement. There's definitely, regardless of whomever, uh, or regardless of whoever this is that's running the show right now, they're definitely looking at their op. They've looked at an option and they're trying to 
move into a different phase. So I don't think we can take solace in that because we don't know, A, who's running the show, B, if it's by proxy, C, if they have an interim solution, if they're not going to, for entertainment purposes, only take them out by, themse by themselves. Then I start over here with the past, um, Ace of Coins. Um, um, they always say that money um, and things like that drive war. Um, in the case of in the case of Russia, it's more about um, being tentative about even wanting to have done it because even for years they had explained and if you read people like um, Masha Gessen who is a renowned um, journalist slash um, what do you call it emigre from uh, Russia she lived as a child then went back under Putin and then came back um, they their army isn't what they know it's we know it's not what it is purported to be okay but um he could sustain the sanctions and this is what i'm getting from the past he could sustain those sanctions for a long long time um regardless of what his people wanted and i think masha guess if you watch the pbs um special with her about Putin, which I highly recommend you do, there's a, a reference to that. He doesn't care about, you know, the sanctions. And he, foolishly, he put his people through that for years. Um, and no one was the wiser because for so long, at least until like 2009 or 10, they really did believe that he was going to, I don't want to say restore the USSR. What he was going to do was bring Russia back to a prominent place on the world stage. Uh, they weren't going to be seen as the fool, but they took a lot of risks, the people of Russia, to stand by this person and basically systematically allow him to dismantle the progress that had been made under Yeltsin. And then the moon, again, the secrets of what he wanted to do. One of the other things they talk about is um, um, the mandatory requirement for, um, there's like some sort of combat training that, what is the equivalent of junior high here? A lot of Russian students go through. Um, I think secrets, the things that came to light about the motivations behind why Putin wanted to do what he do were not um, available to them. So, you know, this is saying what they had to contend with. Um, and in the future, if I were to look at this, well, those two right now, um, I'd say uh, based on the awareness the people have from, from what's exemplified by the cards at B and O, that I don't see him using nukes, but let's look at the last set of cards, <clears throat> which is the future. Two of coins. Um, whether it's proxy or whether it's fake Putin or whether it's uh, a double or whether... There's going to be speculation as to whether or not... Um, Whether or not, in the eyes of the entire world, whether it's South Africa or the people who are totally fed up about it, or those who may have pled allegiance to Putin over us, or there's just too much, um, there's too much um, on the line. It's not just about oil that they can lure it over to the entire world. Um, the world's too interdependent now, and to, to have a juggling act where you're insulated again the way you had been during the Cold War, I, that's not going to work. And then the next thing is two of wands. Um, again, um, looking for your ship to come in, um, but bearing in mind the fact that we're in a 
we're in a, a period of inspiration of, of um, early inspiration, whether it, it's the new and the if oh, if in that area of the world too many people and I'm seeing hearing China in this um, I hear them being consulted um, and as much as they're doing things that are subversive vis-a-vis -vis us I don't think they're going to want to do it However, one thing I did get at the end was the high priestess um, of the higher self. I think I think in light of that, they're ready to to turn the tide a little bit over there. So I, I'm gonna say no. I really don't think that that CNN, I don't know if it's Aaron Andrew, who what Aaron Burnett maybe who reported on it. I'm getting a no. Um, so that's that one. And then let's see. What else did I want to read on? Um, um, where did I get a hit on? Um, let me thank you, you guys. This is all very spur of the moment, so. Um. I ordered the deck of character today and the kipper. So, the kipper will be here tomorrow. I already started reading about it. For more situational things. Um, what do I want to read on? Um, I already did the ass backward last night for the week. Okay, we'll call this, this will be a new segment. Thou Father art in heaven. This is about me. Thou Father art in, in heaven. Um, Dad, what messages do you have for me this week? And this will be hopefully a reading that resonates with everyone as well. You can take something from it that I don't, or practically okay I 
hearing burning bridges. I'm hearing rushing to judgment. I'm hearing, um, um, lack of foundation, lack of s social structure. I'm going to tell you how those things come together. Um, we started with the judgment card and then we had this page of wands reversed. I feel like that those flickers of inspiration and the idea that we're unfairly judged for being different um, is at the root of a lot of our problems right now in this country. And we're seeing it on a daily level with what's being rolled back in places like Montana, as far as rights for LGBTQ go. Um, we had the Hierophant reverse, which to me is a government card, um, social norms. Um, and then like-minded people have to get together and um, solve this and fight it. Um, otherwise, um, We're lost without any found without a, without any safety net if we do not fight these things. So that's what I'm getting, I guess, politically. Um, if I look at it from the standpoint of the individual, on um, thou, thou Father art in heaven, um, I would probably say let me lay them back out again the way they were. <sighs> okay, these were, that was the only one. Actually, everything but one of them was reversed. If I were to look at them like this, I would probably say the message here, individually, taking politics and everything else out of it, beat the system, stand your ground for entertainment purposes only. Find ways around things. I'm hearing loophole. Maybe that ties in again to the political battles, but I'm hearing if I take each individual card on its merit, no judgment when there's no judgment can be valid in anyone's life if they're basing it on a flicker of evidence or a flicker of, of energy. You know, they've got to have something more to bring to the table um, for um, anything to hold weight or merit. I mean, if you're going to try to convince people of something in your life that you want, you really, really need to observe social norms. But by the same token, you need to... Uh, for entertainment purposes only, you need to understand how social norms are exploited um, every day um, and people are breaking them and not feel confined by them um, as if they're the be all and end all. I'm not saying go out and break every law in the book. What I'm saying is For this judgment card to be reversed and this inspiration card, you can't let your thoughts and ideas be executed into reality if you're going to allow social status and social structures and social, there'll never be any revolutionary change in your own life, which I think um, doesn't augur well for the collective. So you, you, really have to, you really have to be wary of that. And then that's when that harmony comes in, where it's not only just about self-love, but it's about love for others. And if you don't do it, you're awash, never to find an anchor or um, never to be out of your own hopes and, and for yourself. So, the Father out in heaven, thank you. You guys have a good week. I should be back soon.